<laughs> nice to see you. Another, Happy another, Tucson 2019. You got it. Wonderful. We're seeing wonderful stuff you have, I people bet. have. There's some marvelous things in this town right now. These amethysts have slowed down, but obviously in Uruguay, they continually look for the stalactites and the second, you know, the calcites and the things in the geode. Yeah. And this uh, stalactite, as most of them, has a repair on the bottom, but what makes it unique is that it has a doubly terminated crystal on the top. So what makes this one cool, besides it being a stalactite, is you have this doubly terminated oh, yeah, crystal right at the top. Fantastic. So I've never seen a doubly terminated crystal on a stalactite, nor on an amethyst, really, from Uruguay. Yeah, when you think of it. And when you think about that it's right at the top of the specimen, exactly. how lucky is that? Yeah. Now, you look at it from a distance, you see that one point there, and you think... Uh, is it disturbed or what have you? But then when you start looking at that carefully, you can see that it's actually a double terminated crystal. See, most people, amateurs, would walk up, oh, did some of these break? No, they didn't break it off. It's all right. perfect. And then you're doing this properly by pointing that out, that that's actually a double terminated a, a crystal on top of a whole slug like that. It's unique. Right. And the other thing that I feel that's important um, in the mineral world is that you point out the repairs or if there's been any, you know, composite work done. So, you know, of course, it's very rare to get a stalactite that isn't repaired. So exactly. this one's in very good shape with yeah. only one repair. Very and, good. You know, yeah. that particular pocket out of Freiburg produced these, and a lot of them have, you know, um, spectacular color in this one. I would say Absolutely, A plus color, intensity of that. Never seen one that intense in color. I've seen the general color in a few pieces, but that one is really intense. Yeah. It's fantastic. And to get a large cabinet that's, that's clean right. for the most part. That's right. You know, because back then they weren't taking care when they were. Right. Them, yeah. so. so it's a. Uh, Epimorph after anhydrite crystals, and you can kind of see them with yes, quartz. Yes, But they continue to form in these needle-like quartzes, and it's the only one I've ever seen. Never seen myself. anything like that. It's yeah. totally unique. A very unique specimen. Fantastic. Now, this caught my eye. As soon as I walked in this room, I said, oh, wow, this malachite here. Isn't that a fabulous? Never movie? seen anything like that. Me neither. I've I might see in some small pieces, but this thing is true. Can you open that case? Sure, <laughs> But this one's kind of a forest. It's unbelievable. It's just a cool, cool piece. And when was this found approximately? Um, this was probably two years ago. Okay. Um, when this actually became available on the market. Yes. And you know, the problem in the Congo is that it's very difficult to get any stalactites intact. Yes. Uh, but something of this nature... Um, it's in very good condition. Oh, it's I've fabulous. just never seen one like that. Museum piece, all it's a Sunderbolt. It's As unbelievable. a matter of fact, it has been sold and it is going to a museum. Oh, so okay. It's fabulous. So, yeah. This thing that, is just crazy. I've ah, never seen anything like this. This is from Kelly, and it's yeah. it's got a box work, and the bugs continue all the way back. Never seen anything like and that. It, this part was floated. It was on the wall here, but it came out whole. I've never uh, seen anything like that myself. Yeah, their smithsonites are usually totally different. That's totally unique for right. that uh, formation like that. Right. Oh, uh, fantastic. It's a great piece. Yes. Uh, of course, all of these chains have to be reconstructed. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, and this one has just that aesthetic appeal as well as the clarity. Right. And, um, I love that piece. Oh, beautiful. I just love those Herkimer diamonds. That was one of the very first places I collected. Oh, really? You know, other oh, than nice. the quarries in the Midwest. So okay. That's tough digging up there. <laughs> ah. There's no doubt about that. Well, we can talk all day long. You got wonderful pieces in these cases. Thanks. That is truly magnificent. When they get that size, usually they're not that intensity, or they have fissures, uh, cleavages mm -hmm. in it. That's just a magnificent large single crystal, and I understand it's totally complete at the yeah. bottom as Let well. Me open this, sure. piece up. Yes. this piece has some provenance. It was found uh, quite a few years ago. Okay. It was originally in the Mark Weil collection. Oh, okay. And um, this piece 
um, I think it was photographed in his book, and obviously we can't get the light, but the color yeah, is just color fantastic. Is truly magnificent. And the thing is, is it's a doubly terminated crystal, so this mm. broke off and rehealed. Yeah. So that was a nice um, piece. And Beautiful. We have the twinning plane on this side. Yes. Like oh, this that's side. a fabulous museum specimen. It's Look at that thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter which way you hold it. Oh, it's, it's just beautiful anyway. And we got the blue albite and the little tourmalines on the back. Yes. So, yeah, it's a, it yeah. is definitely a nice uh, specimen. A rotocrosae for a big plate like that and all these. It looks like somebody placed them on the matrix. <laughs> yeah. no, it's a lovely thing. This What's the from, story on that? This is from the John's Pocketed Sweet Home Mine. Okay. Uh, collect, you know, on the uh, project from Collector's Edge. So this goes back. But these size plates, to my knowledge, um, there were very few. Yeah. You know, that had. Oh, you don't this see type them. Of quality and. And then the size and. Yeah. It's to be, and then space so well in there with the. What are the quartz crystals in between? Yeah, it's actually like got quartz. the whole package. So you yeah. have the sulfides yeah. um, with it and the quartzes. You have the humanoids, tetrahedrides. So I just like the fact that it's. They're separated, and again, the That's size right. of the piece. Very, very um, important. For a clean specimen. Yeah. Like, yeah, this looks like a figurine. Yeah, well, so look at yeah, the my granddaughter it. Said, said it kind of looks like a teddy bear grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, but you can't hold it because that's one of the very delicate, yeah. yeah, from the original. That's funny. Yeah. Several years ago, but uh, they were hard to get in the multiple balls. The color got better, yes. but they'd get a group, you know, undamaged. Oh, that's difficult. wonderful. You know? Fantastic. Oh, it's wonderful. They're just jemmy, smoky quartzes with the bicolors. And the all bite yeah. to set it all off. Uh, it's a magnet. I would have had this in my collection in a heartbeat. When did this come out? Some time ago? Yes, yeah, this be. is when Bill was running the project, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been doing shows for so long in Europe and here. Yes. That, you know. I've had I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to know the older people in your age group um, who have contacted me to, you know, sell their collection. So Fantastic. it's nice to see this material recirculate on the market. Exactly. Um, because you can't get things like this currently. Yeah. So I thought it was a it's wonderful. Thing. Yeah. This came out of China, as so many things do, but it's a really cool oh, piece yeah, it's because a it's a double terminated ferrite. That's, that's right. On the uh, no. quartz. Very different looking. It's fantastic. The, the Kunzites, you know, they don't come produce the best. And yeah. um, that find, they had very few where they stayed or were on the cook ice. Yeah, see that? And so that one's unique because it's a matrix piece. Right. Yeah. Um, very unusual. And uh, so I haven't seen many like yeah. that. But yeah. I mean, those are, in my mind, obviously, they're totally gem and the finest crystals that have ever come out in that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Wonderful. Or a chrome drab. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Interesting thing. Yeah. Of course, they're dark, but I had never seen anything oh, that had beautiful. backlight that had that type of color. Beautiful. What's this on the table here? That uh, looks this is This is one of my favorites because um, it is a blue florid from Puy saint Gomer, France. Magnificent. Look at that. The, the color on it oh, is just intense fat. blue. Yeah. It's the only place that has this unbelievable blue color. Never seen anything like that. That that is really rich color. And what is this? This is, is this is purple fluorite. Oh, this purple. was very oh, typical yeah, it for is. this okay. when they got these. So okay. they were underneath the purple, and I'm sure that gives the dark blue a lot of it help. Um, it having probably the purple does. Back. Yeah. And here you can see the whole vein. So you actually had green fluorite here, oh. then purple, then blue. With the albite. Fantastic. Nice Beautiful thing. thing. So, Dave, I've got a couple other pieces in the back, so oh, okay. I'll uh, bring them out and we can have a look at Very it. Very good. That's all right. Good? Okay. I'll get this one out of the way. Yeah. Look at that. So, this is uh, new material. It, the pocket was found about a year ago, but as in all tourmalines, it's very difficult to get a piece that has... Um, 
no repairs. So finding which crystal goes where, oh. this one was one of the best. Oh. And what I love about this piece is if you see it has the little tourmalines and then little tiny doubly right. terminated right. quartzes. Yeah. And it's like a flower. Oh, but what God. really made it stick out for me in this pocket, and this is from the Chia mine, mm -hmm. is if you look at the tops, they turn blue with a purple stripe. It is, yeah. And only on the pinacoid terminations, but they all turn that same purple wow. on the color. And that's lapidolite in the background here. Yeah, it's yeah. got your lapidolite yeah. with it. So they're just oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. So yeah, we thought about trimming this off, but oh, it's I would do that. Yeah, it's natural. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'd leave that just like what you have there. So it's like a little flower. Yeah, it's fabulous. The result continues to amaze. Yeah, it's it's, it's amazing. So these are some of the Cruzeros, but what's happened is they've morphed basically. So these and it, it's amazing. There were three separate pockets on yeah. the B one vein. Yeah. But these have like this, it's oh, difficult this to see. Fabulous. Look at this, the way that's formed. The blue centers and then the electric tops. Beautiful. So I think uh, this particular group of pockets will go down in history as very well. much one so. of the finest. Oh, of the absolutely. And they're just so aesthetic and sculpturistic. <sighs> Fantastic. Yeah. They're great. Yes. I wanted to show you these, Dave, because you can appreciate these. I've collected uh, copper, silver, gold my whole life, but oh, look at this thing. Fabulous. The size of the crystals. In a twinning here. Holy cow. Well, the fact that the re-entered twin came on the face of the crystal, and uh, you look at the size of this tetrahedron, I mean, it's just... It's unbelievable. It's a great That's thing. It's a marvelous thing. Now, how old, did, how, when did you get this? I've had that for quite a while in my yeah. collection. Yeah, and, I see. Um, one of my clients really liked it. So, you know, I brought it to show them in person. So, yeah, I see. Um, you know, it's just a unique piece. Absolutely. And then because I brought this box of coppers, this was in there. And this oh, one I wanted to show you. Oh, would you really believe unique. this? Isn't that Oh, very that's... strange. Oh, so you have these very thin wild? leaves with yeah. these elongated crystals. Again, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. And these are both from Michigan. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, when it, when production was there. exactly. But they're just unique. So yeah, they really are totally different. Plus, they're very nice size cabinet pieces. Yes, they are. But the crystallography so on them is just different. Oh, yeah, this one is really, really unusual. So they continue to produce. Well, oh, thank you very much. That's <laughs> very nice. <laughs> In the Mato Grosso <laughs> district of Brazil. That's wonderful. And this is a different claim than the original. Mm -hmm. And of course, this has the larger crystals. <sighs> and it still has the skeletal growth, as you can see, but very the crystal so. sizes. Is very large. Yeah. Doesn't have the luster of the previous but deposit. But the crystal size is fabulous. Right. Oh, absolutely. See, back in my early days of collecting, I would have died to have this. You just didn't see any of these offered for sale. They just mm -hmm. didn't have them back in my day. If they had them, they kept them and just didn't tell anybody. But these are fabulous mm -hmm. things. And people are dying to have them now. Oh, to get the size, it's so. different. And we've had crystals up to this shot. Oh. So it's certainly surpassed. Approximately it, when did this come out? Approximately. Uh, within this year. Wow. But very few with the size. Yes. Um, okay. And we have other ones that, you know, have single crystals up to like this. Wow. Um, but they're, this was just unusual wow. because it's large. It's probably yeah. eight centimeters. Yes. And... Um, has the hoppering along with exactly. the, the crystallography on it. Is exactly. Very yeah, good. back in my days, I was never able to find these type of crystals. They just weren't available. They just crushed the stuff up as ore, and that was it, if they hit crystals at all. Right. Okay, Dave, this one you're going to like. Fantastic. Gem morganite, it's even hard to see the pink. This is fabulous. Interest. Look at this specimen. These morganites that have come out are better than the one I had in my collection. That was a fabulous thing for years. And here they've really struck. And here it is, a perfect example. Look how gem clear that is. 
Yeah, and what is this? Uh, this is a Mangano tantalite. Oh, Mangano. Okay. Mangano tantalite. It was nice that it got placed on the display Yeah, just like side. somebody just put it in <laughs> it's there. It's kind of like the Emmons, yeah. you know. Oh, just it's fat. Lucky thing. Look at this thing. Oh, this is a fabulous thing. You know, and the morganites are so much more difficult to obtain than the aquamarine crystal. A lot of people don't know that, the general people. Right. Look at that. Yeah, that, that, that is just fabulous. I thought you would appreciate this. This is from the original Pasta oh, Bueno Gem Pocket Find. Isn't that something? And it now can be improved with new techniques in the lab, the rhodochrosite. Yeah. But originally this went into Dr. Webster's collection. Okay. And it came out and back to me, and I'm excited to have it. Yes. And uh, Now when you say improved, what are you talking about? Just cleaning the surface there yeah, a little back bit? Back then there wasn't um, techniques that yeah. you could clean it, but this particular piece, if you look, it still has the iron staining on it. Yes. Um, they were basically washing these, and yeah. we'd, they'd sell them. Yeah. Um, so that's how things were done back then. That's stibial tantalite? What no, is this that? is a hubnerite. Oh, it's a hubnerite. And okay. what sets it apart from the Colorado rhodochrosites is um, the large quartz crystal size and to have the larger hubnerites on the piece. Interesting. And, and most of these piece. were pink, of course. So to yeah. have these deep red ones, and again, this isn't the best light for this, but mm -hmm. you can see that it is going to change dramatically because mm -hmm. it does have gem, gem quality rhodochrosite. Right. Right. From exactly. There. So it's beautiful, it's really beautiful. piece. I yeah. thought you'd appreciate seeing one of the oldies. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, like I said earlier, I've been lucky or blessed enough to be able to acquire a lot of the things that I sold when I was very young. Very much um, so. Back, that, that are coming on the market. Yeah. And I just wanted to mention that my family, we have the Sarah Rose Mine in Colorado. Oh. And we finally got all the infrastructure done and the ground support. And um, we are currently ready to mine next year. We did some okay. mining Very at good. the beginning of this year. Okay. My son, Matt, kind of made me a picture. Oh, so that's the that kids and the grandkids. That. So that's my that family. That is okay. We're missing look Lyle and Jerry. And he made this for me uh, just to uh, cover the year because Matt's up there full time, basically. That's fantastic. He's one of uh, the people working there. So you're going to commence the mining this summer? Yeah, this yeah. summer will be in full force. And last year, um, this is the quality that we're finding. Oh, <clears throat> look at that. That's great. Yeah. And. I'll just page through this quickly. This is my wonderful wife, Sally. Oh, would you believe sitting that? Sitting after we blasted here, yes. um, there was a clay seam. Yeah. And it was mainly gouge. So I said, you need to get on a plane because I saw rhodochrosite all oh, over. Oh, you and see that? We cleaned out a little pocket here. This is another one. And oh, this is the first piece she took out. And it was about this, this. this. Would you believe that? And here you can see she couldn't wait to clean them. She got oh. back to her rental house and started oh. cleaning them immediately. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and here's a good idea to give you. When we were in this uh, gouge vein, it turned into the pasty dick, dickite, so it was probably mm. over uh, where the specimens were protected because it's like a toothpaste. Holy and once we got into that part of the vein, mm -hmm. um, we were taking out these groups oh, like this, and of this? course this has never even Not been cleaned. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is the dick I paste, and these are on uh, very nice purple fluorites with oh, modified like cubes. Fantastic! Look at that. That's another piece out of the uh, dickite vein. Yes, and these are blood red. Yes, and so what we need to do is get into the clean pockets, which we. Fully hope that yeah. And uh, when were these found? These were found uh, the end of the year, end of the season last this year. Yeah, um, very good. And this look at that was kind of a great story. Yeah, um, Lyle, um, the Jerry and Lyle weren't there, part of the family. Mm -hmm. I had them cleaning some of the vein material that we took because of the snow. We were trying to clean up the rest of this gouge vein and everything, and 
I had we were putting it. We thought it was all low end at that point. Yeah, and we had him putting the vein material. He was cleaning it for me outside here in Tucson. Mm -hmm. He comes screaming down to the house, and thank yeah. God he didn't trip. Yeah, really. And we evidently missed about a two and a half by three inch round oh. that was in the vein bag. And it oh. stayed intact. It, it, we, I just got lucky. Yeah, very but lucky. You want to talk about an excited nine-year-old? Yeah. When we showed him what to look for, it's unbelievable. It and oh. this is what it produced. Fantastic. So we're really looking forward, you know, to a long life at the Cerro. Very and, good. You know, well, congratulations. Thanks. You did a wonderful job. You look thanks great. a lot, Mike. Brian, you always look good. Choo, choo. <laughs>